Welcome to Experimental Recording Techniques. I'm Noam Wallenberg. We're here at Rax Tracks Recording. Today we're going to be triggering a guitar off of a drummer, and we're going to be running it through a fuzz pedal to make it extra uh, crunchy and abnormal sounding. So the concept behind today is we're going to have a drummer play, uh, and we have a single mic on the drums. Uh, that's just picking up the general rhythm of, of what the drums are doing. We're not too concerned with, with, with how that sounds. And uh, we are going to put a noise gate on it, and the side chain of the noise gate is getting triggered by the drummer. So you're going to end up with a, a, a guitar part that the rhythm of the guitar part is going to be the rhythm of, of, of whatever the drummer is playing. But we're going to start out with our guitar sound. Uh, I'm using an Ebo. Ebo is basically like a, a pickup wired in reverse, so it's, it's going to, uh, instead of capturing the vibrations of the strings and turning it into a, a voltage, it's going to take the voltage of a battery and vibrate the strings. Um, so we're going to get this kind of constant uh, uh, string sound that we can then, you know, fret wherever we want to. And uh, this guitar is getting plugged into a, a Mastertron. I have the Mastertron set uh, to uh, everything up as high as it'll go. Uh, and then we're going into uh, our 1073 preamp uh, uh, just through a DI uh, and we're doing nothing on that. We're, we're just, you know, just, just getting some gain. Uh, and then we have uh, our SSL EQ and we're taking off a little bit of the top end and a little bit of the bottom. We're working off an SSL 4000 board um, and the SSL 4000 has a feature where you can uh, patch something into the side chain of the noise gate. So basically what that means is that even though that is the sound that the channel is actually uh, getting, the noise gate is reacting to the input from a different channel. So in this case, it's reacting to the input of drums. So whenever the drums are loud enough for them to break through the noise gate for it to make noise, the guitar is going to make noise uh, instead. And whenever the drums fall below the threshold and they, they uh, are not loud enough to get through the noise gate anymore, uh, the, drum, the, the guitar is going to be silent. Uh, all right, so uh, we're doing this on SSL today. It's really easy to do on Pro Tools, on whatever noise, you know, uh, uh, Avid noise gate or whatever you have. Uh, all you have to do is take a bus from whatever channel you're setting up. So if you're working on the drums, you set up a send off of the drums and make it a pre-fader bus uh, off, of, off of the drums. And then in your noise gate, you set up uh, the side chain input to be external and set it to whatever bus uh, you're working with. I'm at a, a reasonable uh, attack. It's, you know, it's a, a, a fairly fast attack on these SSLs. And then uh, I have the release set to as low as it'll go. So it's a really fast release on things like a, a, an analog gate. Obviously the, the attack and the release can't get quite as fast as, as in Pro Tools. So you might want to send it a little, a little longer just to feel natural and musical. Uh, all right, so let's get a drum beat going. All right, so we have our drum sound. We have my Ebo. So right off the bat, starts triggering off of what the drums are. And I'm going to use my Ebo to make like a constant uh, sound going. And so if we turn off the drums, and if we wanted to uh, have it maybe a little less uh, techno sounding like a little less dramatic, uh, we can uh, pull up the range uh, of, of how much our noise gate is, is reducing the volume. watching experimental recording techniques here at Rax Tracks Recording. Uh, join us next time and we'll do some weirder stuff. Mm -hmm.